Config 2024 just happened and Figma announced quite a few new things like the new slide tool and of course the AI that everyone's talking about for the good and the bad reasons. But who cares about all that? I want to talk about the updated UI. There's some things that I like that I think they did good and there's some things that I don't know, maybe I'm just getting used to it, but I think it could be improved. And I'm sure me as a random Australian that has no context about why any of these decisions were made can offer some great solutions. This is all lighthearted as well. As a UI designer, I just like nerding out and talking about UI design. So let's have a discussion about it. Let's go through some of the things I really like and I think they did a great job with. As you would hope for a company that has a tool and software for UI design, it's really obvious that they spend a lot of time crafting this to feel modern and fresh and put a lot of effort into refining it really down to some of those small things that might be overlooked but you can tell that they tried really hard to put those plus ones in there like the nav bar at the top has that mac os feel it, it's a little bit opaque it's a little bit translucent so when you move it around there's actually a, a blur on it and you can see your background whatever your wallpaper is or if you have something else behind it shines through the tabs at the top as well when you hover over them they have a hover effect and the icon is a different color based on if you're using a figma or if you're using slides or if you're using a fig gem file it has a different color i really like the resizable side panels i remember one of the first creative directors i worked with when i was working in illustrator he would always get frustrated if i even had the side panels open because he would remind me that we're actually here looking at the work. I don't really care what the software is. I don't care about how you have your taskbar set up on the side. We're actually here just to review the work. And sometimes I think in this modern day, you get a bit confused and you forget that. You think, yeah, it's cool designing in Figma, but Figma is just a tool to design something. Actually, what you're looking at here is the design. So as they said, sometimes we're trying to bring the work to the forefront. So being able to resize the panels of opening them up when you need to see some more things, but then also being able to really squish them down to the side so that the work is in the center and that's the thing you're focusing on. I work in Figma every day, so there's some quality of life things I've noticed that they've done a really good job at. They might seem small, but when you do this multiple times a day, you actually realize how helpful it is. In some regions, it's a better clicking experience, like selecting an image, you would know if you've done this multiple times, it used to be very fiddly trying to select that right area of not opening the image and not clicking away from the image, but selecting the whole image so that you can just copy the image and then set it as a background somewhere else. There's a bit more room to do that now, so it's much easier to click in there to select that image. Replacing fonts is a bit more forefront and it's easier to find if the file's missing fonts to replace those fonts. I also find the variant renaming much easier now. Before it used to be this bit of an awkward, messy pattern of it didn't matter where you click but it would open a full width so you would think you're clicking on something else and then that would open the variant renaming thing this it's a lot more concise now to open it it also just feels a bit more consistent with the roundness of the corners when you open a drop down it's the same roundness and just feels a bit more concise and just feels like they've cleaned it up a little bit the reduced taskbar down the bottom i don't mind it, it um, it's actually freeing up some room getting it away from the top section. There's some stuff that I'll talk about after, which I wish you could do with the taskbar, but it's not a bad move. Um, just having that reduced version, not take up as much space and just pushing it down the bottom. I found it I'm getting kind of used to it. Some things that I think could be improved. All right, all the components and Boolean and being able to do the masking all feel a little bit too shoved away. I'm still fighting with the part of me is getting used to it because I didn't realize how much muscle memory there was of selecting something and going straight to the top to make it a component. And now it's shoved in the right hand corner, but I don't love having to open the drop down. It just feels like there's quite a lot of stuff in there. I don't want this to just be criticism for the sake of criticism. I hope that it kind of just opens a forum, a bit of a conversation. I also kind of have some suggestions of ways I think it could be better. Now to fix this component, Boolean, all the stuff shoved in the top right hand corner, I do understand that they were trying to save space as there's quite a lot of tools that you can use within here. I know that Adobe is not the best, but one thing that I did like in Adobe was how you could customize what you showed in your sidebar. And I kind of wish that with the floating nav down the bottom, this would be a great area that you could customize what you put in there. You could maybe select some more tools to go in there or take some other tools out. Like for example, I've really never used the pen tool in Figma. So having it in the nav bar down the bottom, I would, I'd rather shove that in 
to a corner somewhere that I have to open and drop down to open it. I'd much rather re replace that with being able to set component and having those component properties in that floating nav bar down the bottom. Or well, the other thing is, I wish it was just a little bit more dynamic, the nav bar down the bottom. It kind of already does, but depending on what you had selected, if it changed icons or if the little sub nav bar appeared above it, that would be kind of cool to make it a bit more of a dynamic experience. At the moment, it feels like a really good space and a really good area to have those real action keys that you use in your workflow quite a lot to help you feel like you're in a flow state. So I wish you could just edit it a little bit or customize it to fit everyone's different ways of working. The next one, it's hard to say because I'm sure there was internal discussions about it, of how they got there, but it feels weird with the sidebar spacing on the left with the layers and the assets panel that there's a little bit of a dead space between each of the links. So you can kind of misclick between two links if you're just kind of going over there quickly and it just feels a little bit strange. I'd rather kind of how it was with the old menu. You can keep the styling of the new one, but bump them up. So increase the top and the bottom padding a little bit, but reduce the space between. So you don't have that dead zone in the middle. It just feels a little bit clunky that I can misclick in there or if I'm just rolling up, trying to go between different layers, that there is that little area in the middle. This one's a bit funny as well, but I didn't realize how often I use constraints and now having it tucked away as well behind something, I didn't realize that I actually use it quite often and it's annoying that it's tucked behind something. To be honest, I don't have an answer for that one because I understand you're trying to minimize what's in there and condense it and simplify it. So maybe that's just a rant from me. This one doesn't fully fall within the UI, but it kind of does. I know in dev mode, you can change it from setting the default display from pixel to rem, but you can't actually, from my knowledge, set that within the designer. When I collaborate with developers a lot, they always are talking about rem and we're handing stuff over in rem. And I know that's what dev mode is, but sometimes when I'm working, especially in-house, I have developers next to me and then I have to show them things. And the normal designer, just kind of how we collaborate and it's still within pixels. I wish kind of there was a way that you could choose from if you wanted to show it in pixels or if you wanted to show it in REM by default and then be able to switch it within the designer mode. Maybe other people don't use it as much, but I'm finding that with constraints and some things is that I am actually having to do more clicks, which does slow me down a little bit. So it would be interesting if they explored kind of the idea of if you could customize the workspace a little bit more if you want to show the constraints instead of having the minimized version or building on the idea I had before of that taskbar down the bottom. Can it be customized? Can we remove some stuff from it? Can we add some stuff back into it? Or can that secondary one that appears above when you're in the vector mode, can that be a bit more contextual? Can it change of based on what you're doing. So that's what I think. That's the things I like and the things that I think can be improved in a couple of suggestions. What do you think of the new UI? Do you have it yet? Leave a comment. What did you like? What didn't you like? Start the discussion of what you think they could do better. Why are you here? Check out another video.